joining me for my May month end update. Now those images you saw at the beginning there were of Woody leaping through the fields a couple of nights ago and I love watching him do that and I hope you enjoyed it too. So on to the update and there's lots to tell you about so let's get started. During May, the channel welcomed 421 new subscribers, taking the total to 11,597. So thank you to everybody who subscribed. Do also think about hitting the notification button, that way whenever I upload a video, you'll be notified about it. I added five new videos to the channel. The first of those was an introduction to my new series, Making Miniature Food, in which I talked about the tools and material I use. I also added the first tutorial in that series, where I showed you how to make some biscuits and cookies. I added a couple of tutorials for pieces for my doll's house kitchen, a base unit and a storage unit. And I also added episode 10 of my doll's house diary, where I finished stripping the doll's house, leaving just the wallpaper. And in June, I'll be adding episode 11 of My Doll's House Diary, where I'll finally get around to stripping the wallpaper and trying out a few different ways of doing it. I had wanted to get that done in May, but just didn't have the time. Also coming up in June, I'll be adding another episode to the Messy Shed series. I finally got around to making the little shelf to go above the cupboard. I'll also be adding another polymer clay tutorial, and this time we'll be making tea and buttered crumpets. I've also got another Metal Miniatures kit review coming up, and this time I'll be showing you how to put together a cylinder vacuum cleaner, so we should have a lot of fun with that one. I'll be making a glazed wall cupboard for my doll's house kitchen, and if I get the time I'll also add another furniture tutorial, which will be for a buffet or sideboard requested by one of our subscribers. I'm pleased to say I finished building the shed for book five and it was a real relief to get that done after the setback with the last shed. In the book I'll be including three tutorials of how to finish the floor. I've done two of them so I've just got to do the final tutorial which will be to fit a wooden strip floor. I'll be continuing with the interiors for the messy shed and the potting shed in June so look out for those tutorials here too. In the book I want to include a list of ideas of how to finish the interiors of the shed and I put a question on Facebook a couple of days ago, you may have seen it, asking for your ideas and I've had a lot of responses to that and some of them are really good. I really like the idea of turning it into a pub with optics and a dartboard. Somebody else suggested a reading room with lots of cosy bean bags dotted about. My own ideas include a carpenter's shed or an interior designer's office a photographer's studio and I remember seeing um, on the local news once a bit about a couple who had turned their garden shed into a sweet shop and I think that would be a really good idea too, all those lovely jars of sweets. So I'd like to ask the same question here, um, if you could put your comments below of what you would turn your shed into, that would be really appreciated and the more outlandish your idea the better. I added loads of new items to my Etsy shop throughout May, which included polystyrene balls in two sizes, great for making topiary trees, some Fimo clay in seven basic shades. I added some cane slices too, carrots, lemons and oranges. I added some lollipop or popsicle sticks in natural wood and coloured wood. Some household pins, which I use for pin hinge in furniture doors. Some jute cord. Craft manila paper in packs of 10 A4 sheets. These are great for making cardboard boxes and things like that. Some latex gloves. Linen thread in brown and white. Some fabulous mirror tiles. I thought they'd be great for making hotel style mirrors or for using on pieces of furniture. Some self-adhesive Moroccan tiles in blue and pink. 
and they were really popular. I added five new shades of the DMC crochet cotton and seven new shades of humbrol paint. I added a range of ceramic plates, great for miniature food, some quilling paper, and I've got some quilling tools on the way, some single edged blades, which are great for using with polymer clay, some wood effect paper, I had a pack of that for myself, great for using in smaller areas or room boxes, and some wooden letters, again really great for contemporary kitchen scenes to spell out words like bake or cook. Now the Moroccan tiles and the papers sold out pretty quickly but I've got another order on its way to me and as soon as that arrives I'll let you know via Facebook or Instagram or you can pop over and favourite my Etsy shop and then whenever I add anything new you'll be notified about it. Now I'm afraid I can't report much progress with the revamp, it just really hasn't taken priority with all the other things that I'm doing at the moment. Um, but I have been slowly sorting through some bits and pieces. There's a triple um, built-in wardrobe in there and two thirds of it are sort of personal belongings, so clothes, bits from childhood, there's crates of CDs in there and it all needs sorting out. So I have sort of been working my way through those. Uh, but I'll keep you updated on the progress and I think what I'll do once book five has been published I'll probably put away two or three days just to spend in my workshop just clearing it out and getting it ready for decorating. So I think that's it as far as the update goes but I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who leaves comments here on Facebook, on Instagram, and those of you who email me as well. Now, I don't always have time to reply straight away, but I do read them um, on a regular basis. And then when I get a spare five or 10 minutes, I work my way through and reply. So please don't think I'm ignoring you. I do read them all and I will try to reply to them all. So do keep your comments and emails coming. <laughs> so that's it for now. And I wish you all a happy, healthy and productive June. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.